the government has withdrawn from this sector. They made that very clear uh, in November of last year. Um, what I'm saying is that we believe there is a very important, active and strategic role for government to play with the sector. Um, I've set out today how I want to do that. Uh, I believe that we, we need to be having clear data into the sector and that's why we are going to conduct a stern-like review to make sure that we understand all the needs of the sector. Um, what we've said is that we will uh, give borrowing powers to the Green Investment Bank from April 2015, from basically from the moment that we came into government, we believe those powers should be there. Um, and that's vital because if we're to see the, the sort of investment uh, in, in the infrastructure that we need to create jobs and growth in our economy, uh, then we have to see that investment going in. Now that investment's not going to come simply from taxpayers. It's got to come from the private sector and from the markets. Um, but at the moment it can't. At the moment there's a blockage. And the Green Investment Bank is the way of unlocking that blockage. So, so that's another key way in which government can facilitate and actually enable the industry to prosper in the way that it wants. There are a huge number of barriers to, to improved resource efficiency. Of course, the, you know, we all know the hierarchy. First of all, you've got to reduce. How do we do that? And, and there are major efforts. If you look at the plastics industry, I was up in Birmingham yesterday at, at pre the, the plastics recycling expo that they had up there, not Birmingham, Telford actually. You know, they're looking at some of the innovative strategies that the industry itself is coming up with to, to reduce the amount um, of, uh, uh, of, of material going into, into its products. It, it, it's quite fantastic. Um, but also, we've got to then think about designing out waste. We've got to actually use resources better. Uh, and that means that you design them out in the first place. Uh, and that means that you have to be able to talk to people across the industry. You have to know what the, the, the final end point is going to be, what the end of life cycle reprocessing is going to be. And you've then got to build, perhaps in a modular fashion, to achieve that. Um, and again, government has a role here. Because at the moment, people are fearful. They're afraid that actually if they talk to each other, then they're going to be accused of anti-competitive practices. Um, we've got to get away from that. And you, you look at you know, your, your standard mobile phone and the amount of components in that that need to be reused and recycled, um, enormous. But actually, manufacturers are, are very reluctant to have a standardization of product which would facilitate doing that because if they do they're accused of anti-competitive practice and it you know we don't want it to stifle innovation but what we do want to see is we want to see cooperation that is going to allow us to have better use of resource we only have resource and unless government understands that that's all we have they will not understand that the economy is circular. Like it or not, the economy is circular. If you want an economy, it is a circular economy. Because we have to then make sure, we've only got one planet. We have to keep using and reusing the materials that this planet offers us. That's why the economy is circular. If you don't use those materials, you don't have an economy. You can't just say, let's everybody go off and do our own thing. Because if everybody goes off and does their own thing, then they will operate, often to their short-term best interest. What you need is a coordinating, systematic overview, which is what governments are supposed to provide, which sets out a strategic framework in which the market can operate. If you have that, then by all means stand back and let the market get on and operate well. But it has to operate within parameters. It has to operate within structures. Very often people look and they say, oh, well, regulation's a bad thing. Well, no. Regulation is simply the rules by which we play the game. If you don't have those rules, you don't actually have a game. So in order to make the economy function properly, in order to ensure that you have a circular economy that operates well, what you have to do is you have to set out the parameters. And that's why it's a systems thing. Because government has to say, here's the system, guys, here are the rules, now get on and play.